Hey guys, I'm Raihana and in this video I will show you how to create bottom shade in Android. Let's start. Okay, uh, first of all I need to add the view binding here. And then sync it. Okay, sync it successfully. Okay, now I want to uh, add two bottom in the main activity. Sample one, and uh, I need ID for this element BTN sample one. Okay, I also need to set to my concert layout start to start parent um, and and parent and top up to parents okay also I want to add another button content wrap content I need ID BT BTN sample two and uh, text sample two and start start parents and and parents and also top button of my first button yes is it okay I just want to add some margin top to this button for example yeah okay um now we need to create our XML for uh, our menu that want to show to user when click on sample one or click to sample two. So I created uh, two XML, I mean two layout XML for uh, my shit. I paused a uh, video recording and now uh, start again and I created two layouts as you can see a uh, sample dialog number one and sample dialog number two uh, and in this layout XML file I use a different style um, in the first dialog I use constant layout as a parent and as you can see there is three option uh, for choosing for user and in the second xml file i created something like that with the image with a uh, tree text view and also here we have a button okay let's start to uh, 
programming and uh, showing this dialog as a bottom sheet when click on the sample one or uh, sample two bottom. Okay, first of all, I want to add some code about wheel binding here. Private Latinic var binding. Yes, this one, and then I can here inflate layout inflator and the last step for binding is binding dot root okay and I have two bottom and first of all I want to create a function or I mean call set and click listener for my button. Okay, uh, binding apply btn yes that set unclick listener. Great. And another one for bottom number two and set unclick listener. Okay. And now I want to create a two function uh for separating my code okay function number one show dialog one okay and also fun show dialog two Okay, now I want to showing dialog one. I want I need to add some code. First of all, need to create a variable, something like that. Button shit dialog here, and pass the context. dialog dot set yes set content view in here I should set my layout yes and then I need to in it my this text view you can see here because I want uh, when I click on it I do something for example in this project I want to show toast okay so I created a variable for example btn edit I can access to that object with the dialog dot find me by id and uh, let me check uh, the better yes it's better to add whole of my layout uh, is better so I need to copy this one here this one and import that and then r dot id dot r edit yeah great and I can duplicate for btn delete and also for btn act and as well here I need change oral delete and oral underline 
at. And now, just need to call. Sorry, here I type mystic. Yes, set and click the listener. This method. I just want to show toast. This and okay, yes, click on edit. Also, I do that for uh, delete. Set find click listener and delete. We have some error, I guess, because of the null. Yes, okay. Also, as well for this one and BTN. dot set and click listener and also I try to p and paste again for at okay and the end of this I need to just call to show And just need to call this function on the btn sample number one. Okay, uh, here I created another function. Function show. Dialog two. I need just this one. Uh, why I get mad this kind of error? Oh, sorry, I created before. So sorry because I forgot that. Okay, here we have it. And here we need just change our load. Sample number two, and uh, also we can add something like that, and it's for close. Okay, here the type of button and the ID is yeah dismiss and here when user click to close button I expected to close my button shut dialog I want to show something. Um, you can also add some feature you your to dialog. For example, you can set set cancelable for your dialog if user click somewhere outside of your dialog. How that set Cancelable, yeah, you can see and false and end of this 
part I want to just call show dialog here and call this function here just that so simple and fast I try to run my application and for I know for take time uh, so I pause recording video and then when it's run I record it again okay. uh, here you can see our application has a start and when I click to bottom sample one I expect it to show dialog number one and also as well uh, if I click to sample number two I expect, uh, I expect it to show dialog two and also in the dialog number two, when I click somewhere out of my dialog, I expected my dialog uh, still to show and uh, doesn't disappear. Okay, test it. Yeah, you can see. And when I click out of this dialog, it disappears because of this code this code just for dialog number two and you can see it when I click to bottom of number two my dialog shows to me and when I click outside of my dialog it doesn't disappear just when I click to this button here you can see the code the dialog dismiss and disappear okay and we have some code for show toast test it yes i guess just uh, some mistake for my bottom Add is okay, but about delete, yeah, it's a wrong toast. Check it. Ah, because of here, you can see I accessed the wrong ID to my bottom. Okay. Edit for edit. And RL delete for delete. And just that. Okay, our video now is finished. If you like my video, please subscribe, share, and leave comment for me. And also, you can click on bell and for upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my video.